Hey everyone, my name is Christopher. Welcome to Seriously Star Wars. On this channel, I make weekly Star Wars reviews, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, so this video is going to be a little bit different from my regular reviews. I wanted to give you guys a look at my most recent additions to my collection. So without further ado, this is my Star Wars haul for February 2021. Okay, so the first thing I bought this month was this Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker opening night pin. Now, of course, I went to the opening night of The Rise of Skywalker. I've seen it many times in the theaters. And the theater that my wife and I went to on opening night, it wasn't handing out these pins. So, of course, I did get the uh, popcorn tins and the cups and the cup toppers that they were selling. But I wanted to get the pin. So, I recently saw it on Kijiji. For a couple bucks so I had to pick it up I just wanted to get another piece of memorabilia from that night I mean it's the last the last movie in the Skywalker trilogy or the Skywalker saga I should say and it's just a standard pewter pin but it's got the uh, Star Wars the rise of Skywalker logo and I really like the look of it all right so the next addition to my collection are some Star Wars Funko Pops from season 7 of the Clone Wars and I picked these up off a friend of mine that lives in the city who's also a Funko Pop collector, but he's an in-box collector, and some of the boxes came in in not the greatest condition. They either have dents or tiny rips in the corners, and he knows that I take my Funko Pops out of the box, as you can see behind me here on the wall. So he was looking to get rid of them, so I couldn't pass up the chance to buy them. So I got the Ahsoka Tano Funko Pop. I got the... Gar Saxon Funko Pop. I got the Bo Katan Craze Funko Pop. And the Wrecker Funko Pop. And as I said, the boxes aren't in perfect condition at all. I mean, they, they got little bends or, or dents in the box, but that's okay. I take them out of the box. But I only had the four, so I wanted to get the last Funko Pop in the collection, so I stopped at my local Sunrise Records, and I picked up the Darth Maul Funko Pop. And I gotta say, he's my favorite Funko in that series. He just looks so awesome. And I will be doing a review on all five of these Funko Pops very soon, so stay tuned for that. So the next thing I picked up were these Star Wars Power Plates from Tops, and these are something that I haven't seen before. Um, I saw them on Facebook Marketplace, and basically they're just these mini license plates that have a Star Wars design on them, and there's one per package, and they're, they're all random, so you don't know which is which, like you can't feel any font or text through the packaging, so I might have three of the same plate, who knows, but I'll be opening these up on the channel as well, so stay tuned for that. And the last addition to my collection were these two cardboard displays that I found on Facebook Marketplace. Um, these were promotional displays that KFC had back when The Phantom Menace came out back in 1999. And they hung from the ceiling by these little pinholes here. So I think it's something that I'll probably hang from the ceiling or pin to my wall with a thumbtack. But they do have some sentimental value to me. I remember riding my bike down to the local KFC and picking up the cups and cup toppers that they had and I remember seeing these hanging from the ceiling there so I was really happy to get these. Um, the first one has Boss Nass on the front and then on the flip side it has the Naboo Fighter with the Episode 1 logo and then the second one has Qui-Gon Jinn and then it has the uh, same Nabu Fighter with the Star Wars logo on the back. But that's it for this video, guys. What do you think about the recent additions to my collection? Let me know in the comments section below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, feel free to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more Star Wars content. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.